Awesome. Thanks for joining, guys. Let's get started. So welcome to our first Slingshot sessions. Uh, you'll be finding more of these as we continue to progress throughout the year. But the idea of these is to keep these um, sessions really short and deliver some really good uh, content to you to, to further um, your understanding of a particular part or product of Combox. So uh, today, as you know, we're going to be talking about Combox signage. Um, so let's get started. Cool, so today's objectives, we're going to have a look at what is digital signage. We're gonna take that step back and, and see what that is. Uh, we're gonna have a look at the different revenue models. We're also gonna look at the potential revenue that uh, you as resellers can uh, create. Then we're gonna have a look at Combox signage in particular and how that's suited to the industry, um, as well as a couple of strategies that we recommend and, and then what we can do to help you uh, as well moving forward. So, as I said, what is digital signage? So digital signage is um, a way for companies to communicate, advertise, um, or even wayfinding in different kinds of environments. So um, that's how we can communicate um, and share bits of information. It's uh, our Combox signage is a uh, content management system that uh, allows you to push content from anywhere. So you can be remote um, and you can send it to one screen or you can send it to hundreds. So let's have a quick look at our revenue models. So I'm super excited and passionate about digital signage. So um, I wanted to make sure that uh, when we leave here today, that I give you a couple of, of ideas of how you can control, um, how you can expand this content management side of things as well. So if we have a look at the three revenue models that I've stated here, the first one is the one that most of our resellers tend to do. So, and this is to sell signage um, to an end user and then, the end user to set up and maintain that signage moving forward. And examples of these are real estate agents, um, schools, uh, even a couple of small fast food restaurants. Um, they just wanna take control of that and do that themselves, which is totally fine. The next one we have a look at is to, um, again, sell the, the software to the end user, but charge a little bit more to help set them up. It is super easy and simple to set up, but there are a couple of end users that are quite hesitant. And, and what you can do as a reseller is provide that as an additional cost or even wrap it up to be a nice package. Um, and you can help install that screen or the media player um, and help push their content live for the first time and then hand the reins over for them to continue. But it's just an option for you to add in as a package um, and, and charge a little bit more money as well and then the next one is the full software as a service package um, that I would highly recommend and, and we see this a lot with um, you know your smaller companies who might not have the manpower to have a full marketing team or a graphic designer um, but you have that skills and maybe a little bit of time to allocate because the revenue can go up um, is to help these customers create cool signage and push that live for them and and uh, maintain their screens check the status health of their screens um, and make sure everything's up to date for them as well. So that's an awesome way to, again, make more money. You know, if you're really good uh, with Photoshop or InDesign or video editing, um, you know, you can charge a, a decent amount to, to push some really good um, digital signage these days. So yeah, if you have that capacity um, or you're really looking at ways to expand uh, your company, then this is a really good path to go down. Next, what I've done here is um, had a look at the pricing. So um, these are just our standard reseller buy that I've taken here, um, as well as our RRP, and then that difference or your profit in between. And the key highlight or the key takeaway I really want you to take away from, from this slide is um, obviously the more the better. But how I really want you to think about this is when somebody comes to you or a customer comes to you with a, an opportunity, generally they're quite focused on the one thing that they're looking at or the one problem that they're trying to solve. And often that can relate to one screen, one screen uh, in each office across 10 different sites. And that's great. But um, I really recommend you to go into one of those offices and take that step back and see where else you can start to implement 
digital signage. Um, here at the office, you know, we have one dedicated to the front reception area and it has a nice welcome message. That's not something that somebody would think of because it's not a problem that they're trying to solve, but what it is is really elevating that customer experience. So I would highly recommend to, to take that time to step back and have a look at that entire experience or what kind of customer experience the your customer is trying to offer to their customer um, and really recommend um, you know adding a, a signage player here if they already had a screen or putting in a new screen uh, you know if they want to be able to move it around then then buying a really nice looking stand to to uplift the the office environment um, so when a customer comes in, as I said, they could be looking for one screen and one signage license, but you could be sending them away with 50 screens, um, you know, across 10 different locations. Um, and you can see how quickly that profit increases there for you as well. And just keep in mind the ingredients of what makes up um, our Combox signage. So so you have a signage license, which you could sell. Uh, you know, you would do this if a customer already had a Combox screen. Uh, but what we also have is um, LG or Samsung specific apps that we can load onto those screens as well. And in that scenario, you would only be selling the license. If they had a different screen, maybe a dumb TV um, or a, an old um, TV that they want to use, we sell our Combox signage media player, and that's just a HDMI connection. Um, but again, a, a, a good way to make sure that every single screen in the office is run by one CMS. Um, and then the last one is the display. So the display itself has um, signage built in. Um, but again, that means another bit of uh, another bit of hardware that's on there. So um, Vinko, you just asked a question, what happens with the license after three years? Great question. I've done this one off a three-year license, our advanced three-year license, which is the most popular. Uh, we have three tiers. We have a basic tier, an advanced tier, and then a pro tier. And after this, everybody will receive an email of, of what they include. Um, but they at each tier, you also have the option to do a one-year, a three-year, or a five-year license. So uh, when your license come to the, comes to the end of its life, you would then just renew, and they can do all that through the CMS as well. And that would come directly to you as a reseller for you to go out there and requote, um, you know, assess and make sure that they're still on the right tier um, and see if any of their hardware needed updating as well. Cool. So let's have a look at how we compare to uh, the digital signage market as a whole. So the key ones that I see here in Australia um, a Samsung and bright sign that we come across quite frequently. Um, and you can see here, I've done it based on price and complexity of the platform itself. Uh, Samsung and bright sign are very, very feature rich. But if you take a step back and you look at software, you know, it's the 80 20 rule 20% 20 of the features are used by 80%, presents 80% of the value. And so what we've done with Combox is really focus on the key features that our customers are going to use. So if you, uh, and most of your customers will only be using those key functionality, 80% of your customers that you find, um, Combox is going to be that right fit for them. Um, and so why Combox? Um, you know, we're designed here in Australia. We also develop here. We have a very lengthy roadmap that uh, I'll be able to share with you after this as well. So you can see what's coming. Um, and we're supported here as well. We're located um, in Sydney. We've got our, our main Sydney office. So what it means is that we're running on the same time, um, which is really important for digital signage, because if something is happening, you need support. We're able to do it right here and right now. As I mentioned, um, super easy to get up and running. And, and we refer to this as rocket science free. So, you know, I think we've recorded a, a video that goes for about four minutes, uh, which is um, start to end up and running. Your CMS platform is ready to go. Uh, we run a lot on feedback. So customers throughout their um, time with us, their lifetime with Combox signage, they have multiple opportunities to give us feedback on functionality, um, on their use case and how they want to use it and what they see it doing or how to future-proof them moving forward. Um, and so we take that and we start to embed that within our um, processes and, and what we can develop moving forward as well. 
Um, and the last one, everything you need and nothing you don't. Again, that's looking back at that software 80 20 rule. Uh, we really want to focus on that 20% functionality that delivers 80% of that value. Uh, that's the most important part for us. So a couple of key strategies to look at. The first one, and I think the best low-hanging fruit, uh, printing businesses. Um, and I have, what I've noticed is that they're quite scared um, and afraid of the digital signage world because I think if they're not printing weekly when customers are doing specials and so on, that they're going to... Um, lose their reoccurring revenue, but that is absolutely not the case. If they have that design function, um, those designing skills, they're able to transform that and put that into digital signage and then even charge more. I think um, if you can make some really impactful digital signage, uh, I think that even if you were to look at um, all the different facts about digital signage compared to printed signage, um, yeah, you're able to charge a lot more than what uh, you previously could. And so I think trying to educate um, and show that printing world that there is a lot more in there that they can do and they can continue to make money um, is a really um, awesome strategy that we can start to tackle. The next one is schools. Um, I've noticed a lot of schools really start to um, onboard digital signage for stuff like um, notices, messaging, or even wayfinding, um, you know, showing photos of the recent swimming carnival. Um, yeah, schools are really starting to jump on board with digital signage. Shopping centers. Um, as you, everyone would know, walking around a shopping center, there's a lot of wayfinding. Um, again, same with notices, but the best thing in here is advertising. So whenever I come across a shopping center as a customer, um, one of the key uh, messages that I try to drive is charge your retail outlets to advertise on your screens. And then what that generally does is it pays for the screens and the signage software, um, but it also gives them some money in their pocket as well. So um, that's an awesome way to really get shopping centers online. Um, and then retail, hospitality and medical as well. Um, again, they all need that functionality. They are all doing it in some kind of way, in, in some sort of way now, whether that be with the current software um, or they're printing and putting up posters everywhere. Um, often you'll find in hospitality, a medical, they do rollouts, everyone does rollouts. And so they might have, you know, 200 screens on one software and then 200 screens on another. Um, so it's really, it's a really awesome time for us to come in and say, okay, let's look at the hardware that you're running and let's get all of these up and running on one uh, CMS rather than having multiple and it spread out. And finally, how can we help? So Combox, um, if you've worked with us a lot already, you know that we're, um, we enjoy supporting you guys. And so the first thing I want to talk about is the collateral that we can provide. We have an awesome marketing team. So we have dedicated spec sheets, pricing, um, and we can also create co-branded flyers for you to be able to use and leverage. Um, the marketing team can also create a, a specific EDM or a co-branded EDM for you to send out to your database as well. Um, in terms of demos, so the sales team are, are really good at jumping online uh, when you have a customer or an opportunity and running through a signage demo for you. Uh, we would do it with you sitting in there, generally in this little pod that I have here with the signage screens behind me. But we're happy to help you out in um, getting that, that opportunity over the line for you. Um, and then once that's done and they've successfully signed up, our customer success team run through all the training with yourself and with the customer just to make sure that they're up and running um, and that they're skilled and knowledgeable on how to use the CMS. And then finally, the last one is SaaS, which we spoke about in one of the revenue um, opportunities. If you are interested in uh, bundling up the Combox digital signage as a SaaS product for you to sell, then what we'll do is we'll um, jump on one-on-one -on -one calls with you and we'll just make sure that you're equipped to, to do that. You know how to set up, you know how to do it quickly. We can teach you all the little tips and tricks that we have um, to make sure that it's feasible for you as well. Cool, so what I'm going to do now is just run through the platform. It'll take me about three minutes. Um, if we have a look here, if you haven't seen our signage platform before, welcome. Um, we've 
as I mentioned, it is very simple. And the key three words that we use is design, manage, and deploy. When we look at digital signage, you design your signage, you manage your signage, and you deploy. So that um, speaks for the tabs over the side here. So what your, what your customers have access to is, is this marketplace. So hundreds of uh, templates already already designed and again this is key for schools it's key for really small um, businesses who might not have that skill set to make their own digital signage or make it look good so what we've done here is we've onboarded a bunch of graphic designers to create signage for us and then the end user has this and the ability to jump in and buy this template as a one-off price uh, for them to continue to use so there's a bunch of landscape, you can do it in portrait, um, but they're all ready to, to pull into the template editor. Our template editor is super powerful. So if I just open this quickly and show you through, you can start to bring in dynamic widgets, like a QR code, you can show a YouTube live, you have the ability to drop in weather, date and clock functionality, text tickers, RSS feed, we have that all there. Again, I would recommend you sign up for a free trial. So every time um, you have a potential or an opportunity, um, I would recommend they sign up for a trial. You get a free 60 day trial to jump in and have a look. Um, but in here, there is a whole bunch that we can do that I can jump in and, and show you. Um, if you're interested, you can reach out after this for a, for a training session. Then we move into manage, just your folder structure, your back end um, on where you start to, to pull in all the different um, content that you wanna show. We bring in our media, we make our playlist and we deploy our playlist. If I'm super technical or maybe I'm working at a pub and I run off different schedules, so I need my breakfast menu, my lunch menu, and then my dinner menu, I can run off a schedule and have particular playlists set to come on at different times as well. Then we move into deploy. And this is your, your screens that you have up on um, digital signage. So it can be a combox screen, like I mentioned, or it can be a media player, or if we've loaded, side loaded an, an app on LG or Samsung as well, they will all be listed here. And you're able to just go through and have a quick look at what screens are where, what, what playlists are they currently playing? You have the ability to have notifications. So if they're disconnected from the internet or not, you can have it send you an email um, and then some more information on the license that you have and how long you have left as well. In the settings, we have a single sign-on, multi-factor or in there. You can have multiple amount of users. Um, there's no limit on that. Doesn't matter what tier you purchase. In the advanced section, we also have um, the potential to pull in um, permission groups. So if you're going to look at start to get quite complex, maybe you have an external marketing team and you only want to give them permission to drop in content, we can set that. Um, there's lots that we can do in there. You can uh, only play with playlists. You can only add screens. So maybe you want to add your installer in here to, to enroll your screens. You can do that and set so that they can only touch screens. But there's lots of different things that we can do with um, the permissions group in, in there. Locations is coming. Um, I won't speak about that, but that is definitely in the roadmap and you'll get more information after this. Um, a quick view on all the licenses that you have running. Um, an overview and, and the customer can purchase more through here. When that comes through to our system, we'll reach out to you for you to go out there and quote um, as well. It just can't, an email comes directly to us for that one. Now, if we were to look at software as a service, um, you don't need to sign in and out of all the different accounts. If you're interested in doing this, just let us know. And we give you um, the ability to toggle through all your different customers. So just keep in mind which one you're currently working in. But then uh, we would sit all your customers underneath your login account and you'll be able to scroll through and then start working in a different um, account and then swap back into your own as well. So I can toggle through two different accounts. I can change uh, the content in this, deploy something new, and then go back to my own account after that as well. So um, yeah, definitely, if you're interested in doing software as a service for digital signage, let us know, because that functionality is, makes it really easy um, and is su super important for you as well. Cool. 
Well, thanks for attending our first Slingshot sessions. Um, I hope you guys have taken something out of here. You'll receive a recording and a couple of bits of content um, for you to leverage after this as well. Um, but before we go, does anyone have any questions? Um, no, cool. Perfect. Well, thanks for joining um, and we'll be in touch soon. Thanks guys, see you later.